And we're finally off. Yep, this is us leaving the dock in Lanzarote, Arrecife. Uh, after 12 months? After 12 months. And we're crossing the Atlantic, heading for Antigua. So we know we're not very good at this yet. Our <laughs> editing's a bit iffy. We really need a muffler for our microphone. But here are some bits from our crossing. Uh, we hope you at least are amused by some of it. That's the best sound when you're on a crossing and it's the morning, isn't it? Yeah, I'm very pleased. Before you go to work in the morning, you always want to have a cup of tea. And yeah, you just put the kettle on, um, pour it into the cup. It's not so easy on the boat. I had to start by putting a lifeline on, going to the gas locker, opening the gas, then wedging the kettle. And now the pour. Quite difficult. You need extra water because way. It goes pretty much everywhere. Now what do you do with that? Now what do you do with that? I was going to hold it, but because you're filming, it's quite difficult. I'll tell you what I'll do. <laughs> Back in the cup holder. Now Are we having a scrambled egg for breakfast? This is what can now be described as egg gate. We um, have our eggs very carefully stored and propped and wedged behind here in the night while different than watch this popped out. Eggs went everywhere. He did a really good job in the dark of cleaning it up actually, but there's still a bit of work to be done. So, cleaning scrambled eggs off every surface in the uh, saloon. What a waste. Those hens laid for nothing. look as though everything would fit neatly on them. Um, in fact, as the days have gone on on this journey every day, we've found a new smashed one. And these were the last... Jeez. This is what smashing glasses. Uh, these are the last four. So we now have no wine glasses. So if anyone wants to send us any, that'd be great. And I'll show you why. This is why. These bloody waves. and potato curry yeah, using the essential potato that because we've got some potato so every meal will be a variation on potato and why are you standing like that with your legs apart and your arms <laughs> i'm bracing and, bracing braced for the waves oh is your kitchen moving around my kitchen's moving quite a lot it's not moving as much as it was five minutes ago what's the last thing you expect to do or have to do in the middle of the atlantic to have to clean pigeon shit pigeon shit look Look at that. What's he doing here? Pigeon shit all over the deck. It's not what you expect. It's not what you want. <laughs> ah. And is he doing it? He's doing nothing to her. He just sits there. Having a hot shower. How is the water? Quite warm, actually. Well, you're actually going to have clean hair. Well, ish. I'm just using a bar and cross of soap, so I'm not sure how clean it's going to get. Clean air. Well, well, well. There must be some way out of here. Said the joker to the thief. At our Genoa is reefed into roughly the size of a postage stamp because there was nothing we could do last night to stop it flapping and thrashing around uh, and we didn't want to lose it or break it so on the plus side for once we have some seats look at that i woke up this morning set down this song I just can't remember how to send it to So 
we are in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. We are within about 20 miles of the halfway point and have been for three days because as you can see we're not moving anywhere. It's getting quite boring now. It's all very pleasant. It's meant that we can go for a swim and we're not being thrown around constantly but it's really boring now and we want to get going and we are worried that people at home are going to start to get worried about us when we never arrive in Antigua. So you're sitting out in the middle of the Atlantic. Yeah, making a quilt. Like listening to Jimmy and making a quilt. Yeah. Is that That's quite a weird thing to be doing? <laughs> what else is there to do? Well, we've got a little bit of wind back. Not very much. Sails are still flapping as we roll, but not too bad. You can see, maybe there. Now, Hannah, what are you up to? So I have done a stop take and now I'm meal planning for the next couple of weeks. Having been calm for three days, I've had to start thinking a little bit more about food. We've got plenty, but it's just kind of working out stuff that's going to go together. So we're not going to be eating weird combinations of stuff for the next two or three weeks. Um, so yeah, just getting like strict on rationing and what's going to go with what for meals. And is it all going to be delicious? I probably not. <laughs> so how is it in the tropics then? Yeah, it's like uh, England. It's pouring with rain, it's windy, it's cold, it's shy. Just been battling our, I don't know, fifth squall of the day already. It's been four to nine. All good fun. So we've had a pretty awful night. We've had uh, constant squalls, wind speed 30 plus. It's been an absolute nightmare to be honest. But every cloud has a silver lining. Look who came to join us for breakfast. Flying fish. So he's going straight in the pan. It's quite a sad little offering. We are less than 400 miles from Antigua in the middle of the ocean still. Not a thing in sight. Uh, but we're making progress. All good. Antigua's out there. Out there somewhere. When was the last time you went to sleep, Nick? Quite a long time ago. We had a nice, so we had a nice day yesterday, and then just literally as the sun went down, the wind got up. We've had 28 knots throughout the night. Um, we've managed to destroy the table. Um, crashing into it. A month of people being thrown into the table and it finally said enough was enough. As you can see we're nearly at Antigua. We've just uh, massively slowed down because <clears throat> we don't want to get there in the dark. So we're bobbing around uh, so that we can get in tomorrow morning, but we've got islands and land back on the chart for the first time in a month, which is fab. God knows how long. Uh, there's a sea boggy beak out there. Okay. Looks good, doesn't it? Land. I can almost smell the beer. We shall be there shortly. So we made it across 33 days at sea, 
few casualties on the way. Spinner kaboom track, not shown in the video unfortunately, it was too stressful to film. Uh, table, glasses, but we're in one piece and we think we enjoyed it most of the time. We did enjoy it. We recommend it, don't we? We do. It's a tough do. thing to do, but it's worth it. And if you want to see some more stuff from The Crossing, check out our Facebook page uh, or Hannah's Instagram page. Uh, details on the screen. Yep.